Gruesome Magazine. Hello once again. I am Doc Rotten, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in streaming and video on-demand horror movies. Each week, my co-hosts Jeff Moore, Crystal Cleveland, Dave Dre, and I will take a look at various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Join us tonight as we review The Swerve. This is coming uh, September 22nd from Epic Pictures, and it's the feel-good horror film of the year. <laughs> It is yeah. not. It is not. Mm. <laughs> um, but you're going to want to stick around for this. You want to find out what we're talking about. Uh, you're going to have a good time. But first, let me introduce the rest of the crew, starting off with the one and only Jeff Moore. Jeff, how you doing, sir? I'm doing excellent. I, I was kind of hungry for an apple pie, but then I'm not sure. Yeah, th this movie might <laughs> turn you off on pie for quite a while. <laughs> <sighs> and, and maybe, uh, might maybe. turn you off to a couple things yeah, for a well, while. Lots, mm. lots of things. Yeah, bowling alley yep. parking lots. You never know. All right, children. Uh, I don't know. Children. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> oh, no. Darling, <laughs> children all together. Just children. All right. Also joining us is Crystal Cleveland. She's the Living Dead girl. Uh, you've got a picture of. Oh my gosh, uh, Azira yeah. Sky behind you from the film. Uh, so we're going to talk if about this. Her, doesn't sure. give you an idea of her performance, then nothing will. Yeah, yeah. Feel it is. It is a feel good movie, right? Oh, it's absolutely not a feel good movie. <laughs> <laughs> but her performance is phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to let you. that. I'm going to let that joke go because it's 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 dead on the vine. But you know, if you got you got to. <laughs> You got to do it. Um, so what we do here, if you're joining us, is we, uh, we'll give our first impressions. Each one of us get a little shot at that, and then we'll talk about the film for a few minutes. And then uh, we'll wrap things up with our, our final thoughts, our score, and favorite scene. And you want to stick around for that. That's the payoff. You want to hang out and uh, join us. Uh, it, uh, this is going to be an interesting movie to talk about. There's a lot to say. Uh, so stick with us. Uh, what film are we talking about? Uh, we are talking about The Swerve. Even the poster kind of gives you an idea of the direction of this film. <laughs> I put on uh, 2020 for this because that's when we're seeing it, but it actually, uh, depending on how you look at it, it's 2018 or 2019. Um, the, yeah. Sometimes you just can't take IMDb at face value. It's really hard to say, but it's coming out September 22nd, 2020 from Epic Pictures. It's written and directed by Dean Capsalis. I, I think I got that close. It stars uh, the amazing Azura Sky. We're going to talk a lot about her. Uh, Bryce Pinkham, Ashley Bell. Yay, Ashley Bell. And Zach Rand. Um, the synopsis is, Holly seems to have it all. Two kids, a nice house, a good job as a teacher, and a husband with a career on the way up. But there are troubling signs that all is not right in the world. The insomnia, medications for the insomnia, dreams from the medications for the insomnia. The rival of her estranged sister and a mouse invading her home don't help either. Add the weight of a dark secret and her already delicate balance collapses, sending her spiraling. <laughs> there's a, there's some irony there if you're watching the last episode. <laughs> out of control. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this film is... it. <sighs> I'm going to start off a little bit and then I'll hand it off to you guys. But it, you know, I said this recently on another podcast, but... This film feels like if Lifetime Channel was a horror channel, this is the kind of film you get. This is very much a, uh, a, a mental horror film about the mind and what it does for you. Uh, it's not a horror film in the way that most of us, maybe horror fans, think of it. You know, like Ghost and, and Goonies or even you know Home Invasion. Uh, this is this is things going wrong in, inside the human mind and. Um, prepare yourself for that. That's uh, kind of why I was saying a feel good movie. This is not a feel good movie. This is very down and dour, but there are reasons to watch this. I have a feeling maybe, I don't know. We, I think we're going to agree on at least one of them, but let's find out. I've said enough. Crystal, you're up first. What is your first impression of a little sword? So, like I said, her performance is phenomenal. And I think that she, Put everything that she had into this role. I I cannot stress enough that this is a very, very, very sad movie. I actually got a little depressed watching it. It this poor woman gets no respect from anyone in her home. Her husband kind of comes off as a nice guy. But here we go again with this 
unreliable narrator and you don't know whether what she is seeing in him is actually real or not. So he could be a nice guy for all we know, honestly. Mm -hmm. We don't know whether he's a nice guy or he's a jerk, which kind of stinks. I know for a fact that her kids are two pieces of poop though. Two pieces of poop and I cannot stand them. I just, from like the first scene when her oldest comes in, I just wanted to smack him around. Oh my God, the way he talks to, I was like, mom. I wouldn't do that though. No, that's right. <laughs> not, not wrong. But, um, yeah. I'm glad you backed off from the corporal punishment. Oh, yeah, but um, her sister <laughs> comes into the picture and her sister is just, <sighs> Horrible as well. Actually, her parents are pretty kind, though. Her parents seem kind and kind to toward her. They were the the few people who actually seemed loving toward her and a special student in her classroom. Who is very talented artist. Yes, he is a very talented artist. Maybe and not mentally. A child. Yes. A child. Yes. A child. Yes. A child. Okay, so this actually totally goes into the realm of yeah. Yeah. You'll see. You'll, you'll get there. If you watch this one, you'll get there. It's just even sadder though, because the reasoning behind everything that she does is just sad. As I said, stated, she's an unreliable narrator and I don't understand why, because if she's just on insomnia medicine or medication, this should not be happening. She is clearly not having the right conversations with her doctors. I just think the whole thing is just such a mess. And I think it, really bothers me because of that. It's nothing. I don't understand why people don't seem to talk in these movies. They don't seem to tell each other how they feel, how things are, what's going on, what's happening. I just, I just don't get it because I think having open conversations is the key to having a successful life. And if you can't have open conversations with those in your life, then they shouldn't be in your life. Yeah, I, but that's just me. <laughs> communication is one of the biggest downfalls of modern society. We we, yes. don't, we do not know how to communicate properly, or we Whew. we communicate in very odd ways, manipulative or secretive, and this this is kind of the, shows the result of that a little bit, right? Yeah, it's the and basically everything comes to a head is all it is, and there's a weird mouse at some point involved, and. It, Weird dead mouse, which is kind of creepy. And then and, everything comes yeah. to your head. And that's the movie. There you go. There you go. There you go. Spoiled yeah. it all. But I enjoyed um, it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> all right, Jeff Moore, you're up next. What is your first impression of the smart? Well, yes, it's very depressing, but I kind of liked it. I kind of liked following the development. I mean, we start off with a scene fairly early on anyway. She's teaching this uh, high school class, and this guy is in the back of the class not paying attention or seems to not be paying attention, and it's it's Paul, uh, the one that we're talking about, that he's drawing in a sketchbook, and she asks him a question, and he doesn't even hear her ask the question, and then he, you know, the other students razz him, and, and he perks up and then answers a question. And she looks at him kind of surprised and says, well, maybe you are paying Maybe I am a better teacher than I thought, or you're paying more attention, or you're hearing more from the back my row than I thought. My voice does reach, yeah, my voice does reach yeah. the back of the room. So, <laughs> so I like that. I like that. She That seemed like a normal kind of teaching kind of thing. And from that point on, that's like your grounding in normal. From there, it starts to go, it swerves. <laughs> <laughs> it, ah. it swerves uh, big time. So um, I got to agree with uh Crystal Azure Sky's performance is unbelievable. I mean, it's worth watching just for that. I think it is the writer director's first feature, um, so there's nothing really for us to compare it to. It's definitely a slow burn. Um, <laughs> Heavy on the you, slow, I think. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't really you can't really tell where you're going. Um, and again. So unreliable narrator or not, I think, I think she is unreliable, but it's hard to tell just which parts of it are unreliable. Um, that's, there are yeah. And that's the hardest. It's like, yeah, oof. there are, uh, there are a couple of events that take place that I'm not really sure if it's real or not. 
Um, and she seems, the thing that held me is very quickly we, uh, we find out she just seems to be wound so tight. And <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> seems to be surrounded by all these self-centered people. And I, I kind of throw her mom into that too. You said her mom was nice, but her mom was like, it was sort of like the prodigal son. She was, you know, from, from uh, Holly's point of view, she was the one that was always, she tried to do everything right. And her sister was to screw up, but yet now we're doing all this stuff for my sister. Cause she came back from rehab again, you know? So that's kind of uh, Holly's point of view, I think. Um, but, but in the end and her kids, I totally agree with her kids. The husband, we're not sure. There's a couple places where he makes some nasty comments to her, but again, we don't know for sure what what it's we're hard. seeing or not. Yeah. But, yeah. but then she ends up going that direction too, and she seems really self-obsessed and kind of OCD. I mean, the thing she does to make the uh, you know this this weird mouse we talked about to make this poison for the mouse. Yeah. Oh my oh my god. She makes like <laughs> like little little torts for them or something. Yeah. <laughs> Plants them all around. Anyway, um yeah. Uh and, and she seems like she's kind of about giving this image of being the perfect wife and mother and having this perfect family and holding everything together. And it's just um I, I, I had this feeling of impending doom just waiting for Holly to kind of blow her mainspring and come flying apart in pieces. Mm -hmm. it, it just, I just felt like it was slowly ramping up and, and I just kept waiting, waiting for that, that break. Uh, and it, and it kept me on the edge of the seat. Um, I thought, uh, Ashley Bell did very well as her sister, Claudia too, as the sister, I think she was right out of rehab and, of course, you know, she's drinking again already. The mother's, well, she can have a little wine. Um, so not getting a lot of support from, or getting getting sort of uh, excuses, right, or rationalizations for that. Well, everybody's enabling her. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of right. enablers in this family. Absolutely. So anyway, I, I enjoyed well, yeah, it. Yeah, she and, comes oh home God, drunk with the husband. It's like, right, dude. Right. right. Sorry. Yep. So no, 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 that's fine. I'm, I'm done. I liked it. <laughs> it it's, it's disturbing as it's disturbing as hell. And it, you don't have a good feeling at the end, but I, at the end, I've just was <laughs> like, wow, what a performance. Yeah, it is right. Yeah. There's, there's a point in this film. It's like, um, you know, you just see where, you know, cause you always hear about people snapping, right. And doing these horrible things and you, and you just follow this person to that point. And that's the horror of it, right? The horror of, you know, getting lost in everything and, and result in, and, you know, resorting to really awful things. Um, sometimes intentionally, sometimes not, but there, there is some frustration, like you said, with, uh, you know, cause early on we learned that she does things, but doesn't remember. Um, she may remember things that we never really see. So we don't know, um, if she's actually involved with it or if she just thinks she is. And because there's, yeah. there's, you know, did she see her husband do that? Several or? hours passed at one point. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Right. And, and so there's, there's this all kind of, um, well, there's a lot of guilt, right? So there's some guilt that's building up in her and there's frustration with not being heard because nobody ever listened to her or she had to take, you know, the fall for somebody else. And so there's all these things that build up in her that, when when you when it all adds up, it's just like this this person is just crumbling around herself, and 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 even and visually, that nobody notices it is is just like, it's just like, um, it's a statement on where we are because, you know, you always hear this, you know, oh they seem like they were doing great, right? And it's like man, look at this woman, it's so obvious, this yeah. woman is not doing great, and you're not even you're you're ignoring her, you're not even and it, it, oh my gosh, so it it it's saying a lot, and it has a lot to you know a lot of um. There's a lot of there's a lot of show don't tell, right? Mm -hmm. But it's that's on one side. Then the other side is that you know we don't really know what she's what's happening in her head anyway, um, and it makes it worse when we get a literal presentation of her 
thinking she sees something and there's nothing there. And then, you know, that just throws it out the window. And then what the hell is it? Right. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Um, there, if it weren't for the performance of Azura Sky in this, I think I would I would really be <laughs> yeah. Would, this movie would probably be uh, a painful movie to watch, but her performance is um, is star. I mean, it should be star making. I mean, it is really. I'm I'm going to be watching out for what she does because she is literally gripping in this movie. I mean, you just you're just watching her, um, you know just crumble and and she does such a great job at um uh a wide range of not a wide range as far as like a spectrum but inside one area of the spectrum she pretty much hits every button right in, in on the on the depression side of things right and it's you know there's all the you know all the little s symptoms that you you know she's she's there and visually we see it um you know striking back lashing out um uh, imagining things, you know, uh, uh, being suspicious, being jealous, being all kinds of things, right? So there's, and then, like you said, her family. But there's moments in here, this movie, um, I got, so I, I became a victim of my own expectations. And sometimes that happens in films like this because, you know, we're horror fans. We want, you know, this is sold as maybe a, a thriller horror film. And, and, you know, so we're expecting something um, a little more, uh, heavy on the horror. So there are times when things happen that kind of give the impression that something, you know, maybe really horrible has happened that we haven't learned about yet. And when we do, we're going to be so shocked and gut hit. And, you know, that doesn't mm -hmm. pass, you know, Oh no, the, the kids are at grandma's. Oh, okay. I thought something. <laughs> um, so I, so I, that kind of pulled me out a little bit too, because it just wasn't enough, right? You, you kind of had to fill in the blanks and, I, I used the wrong dog, you know, the wrong frog DNA uh, often to do that. So, um, <laughs> Jurassic Park. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, I, I don't know. This this movie is kind of frustrating in that way because I think it. I think Azura Sky is so good that you need to see this just to watch her. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. And I, 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 I honestly, I think it's. Um, I think it's a very telling movie. As you said, you know, you hear people snapping and people thinking, oh, they seem fine. And I bet you that's what people around her would say, which is insane, which really bothers me about the husband even more because I felt like her saying, I saw you, I saw you, whether she did see anything or not, him saying, you're insane, you don't know what you're talking about, could be gaslighting or it could be real. But even still, if that's if if she thinks she saw something, you need to get that person help. You need to listen. Right. You need to be right. more. I mean, are you kidding me? That's a problem. That should be a big red flag. Woo! Mm -hmm. You know, I just it's shocking to me. I'm like, it doesn't mean that it's there. It's always that obvious, or we. But I think sometimes we definitely do overlook people's cries for help. You mm -hmm. know. And I guess the person, the only person who really saw it was the student. He, yeah, I think but he, he was, saw her. He saw her though. Yeah, but he was, he was a little clean. <laughs> the, well, the, he's the like, a, he's, he's like 17 or whatever. Yeah. You know, he's a kid. He doesn't, right. I think he, I think he saw her differently though mm -hmm. than everyone else. Well, you know, because I mean, I, he's probably troubled. Well, I mean, that's what the, well, I mean, a little bit of a spoiler, but, you know, he's an artist, so he, there's a picture that he draws that kind of illustrates, ha, 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 pun, maybe intended, <laughs> uh, what you're talking about, right? <laughs> it's, um, because the illustration is far different than what she actually was. Right. Which mm -hmm. I think, which I think is, a, you know, a big, a big part of what this movie is, is about, right? I think um, she's closer to that drawing in the opening scene. I, yeah, she definitely is closer than that in the final scene. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if even then she's really anywhere near that. That you know, it, it, I mean, putting her up on a pedestal is almost literal here, right? You know, mm -hmm. even visually uh, with his with his interpretation. But that's that's the eye of the artist. You know, the artist is supposed to be that. So, um, I I will say there is you know. 
there's there's very little in this for the horror fan that likes you know Friday the Thirteenth oh. and Freddy. Oh yeah. Oh no no. Right, this right. is not um, for them at all. I would it, actually sh say yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. But if you like, if you're more like in the, um, uh, you know, what they call the elevated horror films, I hate that phrase, but uh, you're the gonna, highbrow you're, horror. The highbrow horror. Yeah, <laughs> the Jeff Moore horror films. Well, it's, it's psychological. This is like straight it. psychological horror. Absolutely. And there's, well, yeah. there's, there's not any slasher or anything like that, but it's all. Yeah, but there is blood and there is death. And there, there is. is yeah. Know, and there is. There, there, all right. So really the point of what I was leading up to is that there are some visually haunting things in this in this movie. When she walks out of that, well, there's that too. When she walks out of the house um, barefoot, you know, toward the end, you're like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, just you just know. the weight yeah. of what is going to happen or what has happened in, at that point, really. So there's a big weight of what had happened. And then, you know, what is, you know, what's next? And you, you know, um, in our society, you know, you just, a lot of things come to your mind, right? There's a lot of things that, you know, you know, this, you know, we, we've seen the results of this kind of thing on the news over and over and over again. Right. So it's very, it's very frightening in that respect. Right. Um, uh, and, and, and I'm having a hard time kind of saying, you know, where, did, so that is horror, right? I mean, there is oh, this is to, a horror movie. There is sure. something. To, there is yeah. something to be afraid of here, but yeah. it's, it's so um, you know introspective to this person's life and stuff. It's it's uh, it's not certainly not broad, but there's certainly a lot of uh, modern life to to uh, pair this up to, which is frightening. That's bad. Yeah, it's almost. Yeah, it's it's that's why it's so sad. It hits. A, I think it. <sighs> I, I'm I'm way too outspoken to ever be a person like her. <laughs> <laughs> I would make people hear me, but I can see this happening, I and imagine. I think that's why it's so depressing to me. I just I know people like this. I know, and that just breaks my heart. Mm -hmm. It is, you know? it, it is, and there's a lot of things in this film that would break your heart. Yeah, there's a lot. You know, with the kids and. No, oh, just gets no, worse no. and worse. Oh, it's like, ah, no. oh, okay. I, I mean, okay, too much, too much. You know, mm. really, yeah. too much. All right. Well, um, we said a lot about this film. I told you this is going to be a fun discussion. So I hope you've hung out with us, and I hope you enjoyed <laughs> our discussion. But wait, uh, what we do next is we do our final thoughts, our score, one to five. And then our favorite scene. Uh, and that's what you want to hang out for. You want to catch that. We're doing it right now. But before we do, if you are enjoying this, please subscribe. Subscribe below. Hit the like button or just like button. Hit the bell so you can be reminded and hey. leave us some comments. Do you like these? I want to know. Do you like these kind of horror films? Do you like them to be more, you know, um, uh, what, what, what am I trying to say? It's more like in your head, right? And you're and you're more psychological, more psychological, more. Yeah. Not even thriller. It's not a psychological right. thriller. Yeah. It's no. Um, so let's let's do this. Uh, our final thoughts. Our score. Favorite scene. And Crystal, you are up first. Okay. Um, I I I I like it. I definitely would not recommend this movie to everyone. Actually, there's a lot of my friends I wouldn't recommend it to. A few I would, but I'm gonna give it a three point two five. Nice. Uh, yeah. I I I just feel like it was done really well as far as the the acting and the I think the director did a good job I just I think that that there's some stuff I didn't understand but I think that's irrelevant I think it's a uh, heavy subject matter and so it weighs me down but that's okay uh, and yeah I'm sorry I've got to go with the I gotta go with the mouse because he made me laugh. The it's mouse. like the, the only part of the movie that made me it made me laugh. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's there, there's a lot that mouse has a lot of metaphorical <laughs> meaning, right? I mean, she's very much the mouse in our story, right? Yeah, totally. Even yeah. even at the very end, uh, which is what yeah. I thought we were referring to. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, no spoilers, no spoilers. All right, uh, Jeff yeah. Moore, you're up next. What is your final thoughts? Your score and i also like this i'm i think it's worth a watch i uh um 
Azura Sky is is amazing. I found myself going back and looking at other things she had done, and I and I guess I definitely recognize her. But again, it's one of those things where uh, I don't think she normally has the lead, you know. So I would hope that something would come of this. Uh, I'm giving this a three point five, and I'm going to say this is going to sound really weird. Mm. I might switch it here well, in midstream here. I'm gonna I'm gonna say the uh, the the van in the rain scene. Okay. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah look at me. There. Look at me. Yeah. So. <laughs> I am looking at you. <laughs> oh, the poor guy. Oh, poor kid. Oh, it's gonna be so, gonna uh, be so messed up. So messed up, that kid. Good thing he's an artist, man, because he could just channel it into that art. He's gonna be, a, gonna be a very successful yeah. artist. This this character. All right. Um, <laughs> go ahead, hey, you know. All right. Uh, for me, uh, yeah. The um, I really like this movie, uh, and it, it it's almost entirely on Azura's guide. I mean, her performance is is gripping and, and it's worth watching for her alone. Uh, it is a very depressing film. So if you don't want that right now, it's not, maybe this isn't the best time to be jumping into mm. a depressing film. Um, mm -hmm. However, uh, it, if you're a horror fan, you're probably not going to enjoy this for a horror film. That being said, and, and I hate saying that because you know, it's, it's, in other words, it's a really good film. Uh, but if I was wanting what a horror film I'll go to watch Saturday night, this this would not be the right thing for that. Um, it, it does challenge you. It does put you in situations that you know you're um, that you know you're going to be fighting with and maybe not enjoy watching. Um, but it's uh, there. There's some there's some stuff happening in this film that um, is representative of a, a lot of things in culture right now that that kind of rubbed me the wrong way of how people treat each other and, or ignore each other or don't even talk, or communicate. It's, 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 uh, it's a sad thing. And yeah. Um, I don't want to go down that road too much because I'm not, Oh, good. Sad. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, this, uh, so I'm going to give this a four. I actually really, Oh, wow. um, as a film, I'm going to give it a four as a film, mm -hmm. um, as a horror film, it would be far lower. Uh, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Straight up. Sure. I, I would say that um, if I were doing right now, like a list of best actresses in horror films for this year, she would most definitely be uh, at the top or near the top of this list. She is definitely one to be recognized. And I hope she gets some work because man, she really um, just has this presence that, you know, you're just like absorbed into. And I think the script and the, and the, and, and the direction, like I said, like you said, have a lot to do with it too, because it's, it's, it's her film. It's based on her, but, uh, but you know, it's centered around her and, and not the other characters. Um, uh, yeah. So what else can I say? Yeah. What, what, oh, favorite that's, scene. that's what I, that's what I can oh, say. Okay. Favorite scene. I got to give my favorite scene. Um, and, and um, you could go with the pie. <laughs> there's a lot with, of pie though you could go with the a pie there's a lot of pie um uh, you know a favorite scene is tough because well I'm, okay i'm gonna say i said it earlier is when i really felt the most i mean there's so, so the result of the pie felt a little telegraphed so i wasn't really shocked by that but you know I just, it it the the acting in it really oh god just made me hurt um, but after that, her reaction, um, you know, she literally swerves, snaps, right? And that was maybe for me the most horrifying thing in the whole film is when she walks out that door barefoot, you know, bloodied because she's got blood from uh, something that happens and 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 um, maybe something else. And um, it's just like that that's a that's a frightening thing to consider. Mm -hmm. um, that, that that's that's no nobody should be at that point in their lives ever and uh wow wow so yeah you know her performance kind of reminded <laughs> me of a film i reviewed called the id that starred mm. Aman amanda mm. west she's a uh a caregiver for her father at in her uh, childhood home and she goes through a similar process like that with 
uh, that's just heartbreaking. It's an unbelievable performance. Um, so, so yeah, I, I hope this does help. Uh, is there a have sort of a breakout into more? Yeah, what a great name too, by the way. Just yeah. saying. Yeah. I love the name. All right. Well, there you go. That's our review for The Swerve. Uh, strange title, but it'll make sense in the movie. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's coming out September 22nd from Ever Picture. So check it out on VOD. Uh, if you have stuck with us, thank you so much. I really appreciate you sticking with us and listening to this. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Crystal, Jeff, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you. Thank Yay. you. All right. Let's say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.